Hey Facebook, how's everyone going today? So, one of the things that people ask me about an awful lot is motivation. Where do you get it? How do you keep it? Um, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit today just about motivation and I, I could go into this topic a lot, I could talk for a long time. I'm going to keep this video pretty brief. I'm going to, um, some of the things that I explain I may go into in a little bit more depth in, uh, in later videos. So what is motivation? Now Wikipedia sums it up really well. So I've, uh, I've written something down that I'll also read to you guys. So, Motivation is the reason for your actions, your, your willingness to do things. And, and it's derived from the word motive, which is defined as a need that requires satisfaction. So these needs could also be wants or desires. They're acquired through influence of culture, society, lifestyle, or they're coming from within or generally innate. Now, motivation is one's direction to behavior, or, or what causes a person to want to repeat a behavior. So a, a set force that acts behind the motives. So an individual's motivation may be inspired by others or events, we call this extrinsic motivation, or it may come from within the individual themselves, or intrinsic motivation. I'll go into more on this in a second. Now, motivation, I believe, guys, is the number one thing in determining the level of success you can get with whatever it is that you may be trying to attempt. So motivation generally works in the following cycle, guys. Thoughts to behaviours to results. I've done a little uh, little diagram here to explain it. You can see there. Oh, it's backwards. But uh, I'll post it below this video, guys. So, thoughts. These are your goals. This, this is you thinking about what you want to achieve. Now, behaviours. This is you taking action. So, uh, actually doing the things taking steps to get towards your goals. And results happen when what you're doing is actually working and it completes the circle. Results tend to drive more thoughts, um, a new set of thoughts or a new series of goal planning. Now understand that having goals is imperative with the key in your motivation, guys. So these goals must also be reset and retargeted when reached. So to illustrate this, guys, to make my point, there is a, there is a condition called PRD post-race depression. I've got a couple of uh, obstacle races jumping on, so some of you guys might be familiar with this. So post-race depression, and this is where people will train for huge events like marathons, and they'll spend months in preparation, months in training, and uh, after this huge build-up, this huge training, they, they run their event, and, and afterwards, after it's finished, they go into this depressive slump. Why? Because they've reached their target. They haven't planned anything afterwards. And because they've lost that, that their the goals, the motivation disappears completely and they get depressed about it. So goal planning is important, guys. Everyone should be doing uh, you know, some level of goal planning in all aspects of their lives. Now, as I mentioned before, once you have a target, there can be different factors that control your level of motivation. So some of these will come from external sources. We call this extrinsic motivation, and some from within, or intrinsic motivation. So extrinsic motivation, you're all gonna be familiar with. This is, this is carrot and stick, reward and punishment. So this is rewarding somebody with good grades for studying, a pay bonus for doing well at work, a medal for completing a Spartan race. Karina, how are you going? This is also the same motivation that keeps you, you know, from doing your work for risk of otherwise getting fired. And the fear of jail is what keeps most people leading crime-free lives. So this reward and punishment is extrinsic. And the extrinsic motivation is very effective in the short term, but it's only effective while the external factor is still present and respected. Intrinsic motivation, this is where the real magic happens, guys. This is the motivation that comes from within. This is when you genuinely enjoy the activity and would do it without the presence of reward. So when you have a student who, who you know, genuinely enjoys a specific topic and the, the pursuit of learning itself, studying is not a chore, will come a lot easier, and as a byproduct, good grades are gonna follow. Now, intrinsic motivation is a clear winner, but it can be a lot harder to develop those. The two key factors required are self-determination, discipline, and an increase in perceived competence. So basically, the cause of the behavior must be internal. You also must see that you're increasing your, your competence by doing it. So 
Me personally, I, I love old school racing. Um, I do a lot of it. I also continue to grow physically and mentally while racing, so the drive for me to keep doing obstacle racing remains strong. To give you guys a comparison between the two, imagine you're teaching your child to, to brush their teeth every night. Now, convincing them that, that good dental hygiene is important might not work so well on a five-year-old, but threatening to take away their iPad if they don't do it is gonna be very effective. The important thing to understand here, guys, is that external factors can be very effective short term, but unless that behavior is transformed into longer term intrinsic motivation, once that punishment of that iPad being taken away is removed, so is the motivation to complete the task. So by starting with external motivation and over time conditioning them that, that brushing their teeth daily has many benefits and is a good habit to, to be in, you can create a, a life-lasting routine to be followed. So usually the biggest challenge that I have as a trainer is getting, with new clients, is motivation. So while some people start uh, you know, with a really strong trigger, um, making them do what they do. Some people just really don't. And, and these are the people who need a little bit more guidance. These, these are the clients that I might have to, to whip a couple of times, you know, when they go out drinking and, uh, and binge eating. But that only works short term, guys. Where I believe I'm successful as a trainer is in that I take clients and I slowly transform their lifestyle so that fitness is a way of life. Now, I do this mostly by creating a tribe. When you bring in a social aspect, you can create a, a herd of people doing the same thing. All of a sudden, I'm letting the group take control of a little bit of the motivation. I can't be everywhere at once, guys. But when you have you know, a, a group of people that are all motivated together, when you have people starting to do fitness activities because they genuinely enjoy it, that is where you get consistent, long-lasting results. So, what can you guys do now to get motivated? Start hanging around people who are exercising. Guys, your herd controls your actions. If you hang around with people who are going out and getting on the piss every weekend, you're gonna be getting on the piss every weekend. If you hang around with people who are active, you're gonna end up active. So, use the herd to your advantage. I also want all you guys to start celebrating your wins. So, if you're working out, post it. If you reach a goal, announce it. Lots of people that I, that I talk to tell me that they do the workouts that I post every week. You know, and I'm talking a lot of people. A lot of people don't post that they're doing the workouts. So it often surprises me how many people are actually doing the content that I'm putting out because nobody's announcing it. Guys, use this herd to your advantage. If you're doing my workouts, share it, tag me, I will share it. And, and your actions, you know, are, are gonna go on to motivate the next person. By you being active, it might motivate the person who isn't active. It's easy to look at me as a trainer and say, well, that's his way of life, that's what he does for a job, I'm never gonna be active like him. When you're just an everyday person and you're the one who's doing the, the exercise, that can sometimes be more motivating to a beginner than anything that I can put out. So guys, you know, for every person in the herd that contributes, the herd itself gets stronger and is therefore reflected in everyone's results. So, guys, share it. Share what you're doing, guys. Tag me in your posts. Also, if you think that somebody else is gonna get value out of this video itself, um, you know, share it, tag it, guys. And uh, yeah, I will go into motivation a little bit more depth in, in future videos. This is just a little bit of a brief overview today, guys. As I said, I could spend a lot of time talking about this. Um, if there's any other questions, guys, I'm gonna keep doing these live videos consistently. Uh, I want to keep covering a lot of topics. Let me know below in the comments what it is you want to see. Uh, and any questions you want answered, I'm more than happy to, uh, to spend a bit of time doing the research and putting these videos together for you guys. So enjoy the rest of your, uh, your, your Thursday. I think that's what day is today. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, guys. Enjoy the weekend. I'm also running a, um, running a day up at the Treetops Adventure in Western Sydney on Sunday. So let me know if you want to come along, guys. Tag me or comment below on this video and I'll tag you into the event. Um, that's my herd going out and getting active. So that'll be a good day, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.